Good morning. Good morning, vlog. Today's the day that we go to the Statue of Liberty. And it's raining. And it's raining. <laughs> of course. Just barely drizzling, though. And of course, we've got two raincoats. You've got I a raincoat. I don't want to look. Yeah. We've I don't got one look. over at the hotel, but did we bring them? No. I don't want to lug them to, around the city. So, um,. Yeah, yesterday so I forgot it, to film any of our lobster eating. We got tons of big lobsters, but um, it was just too much going on. You want to add something, hon? Well, I think we should. We might be looking out for ponchos in the city or umbrellas, but I didn't want to lug a rain jacket around. Yeah, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it won't be too bad. So. It says 40% until noon. Mercy and, and Michael, here, show them your patriotic. Very patriotic. He's got the red, white, and blue. And I've got the stars. Mercy's got her little Minnie Mouse patriotic shirt. And we're meeting Marielle in the city. All right, we're on the train, headed into the city. Check in to the um, Statue of Liberty cruises. Michael has said that he's already exhausted. I'm, ex I'm dying. I feel like I just caddied 18 holes carrying that stroller. He had to carry the stroller on the um, through Penn Station. Through Penn Station on the subway. Although the good news is, I bet you my rings are closed at a record early time. Uh, hopefully the rain's going to stop. It's just barely drizzling. Yeah. the back of Lady Liberty. It is quite big when you're here in person. On the boat, she didn't look so big to me. <laughs> We're gonna... That's it. Ah! There you go. You got by my tippy toes. This is where Michael tight is great. <laughs> and now we're gonna go walk around the museum. Mercy, let's show off your cute little Minnie Mouse shirt. Look at mommy. Who's on your shirt? Is that Minnie Mouse? I don't think it would have stood the test of time. So they made it gold? Yeah, read it. It's got to be something like that. I've just discovered that this mommy hook is a great handle for Mercy to hold on to when she's walking and I'm pushing the stroller. She's so cute. She hates being in the stroller for too long. This is not an easy shirt. <laughs> Where? Oh, okay. And here's the beautiful New York skyline. Is that the New World Trade Center right in front of us? That's it. See, I used to work in that building right there. What building? If you look as far right as you can look, yeah. the one in between the two tall ones. So I worked 77 Water Street. Oh, what'd you do there? I worked for IBM as a summer intern. You did? I changed toner for about three weeks. You I did? I them I'm out. Give me a real job. So they got me a job at an ad agency in the mailroom. With Paul Capelli? Yep. Yeah. How did you get the job at IBM? Well, the big Iona alum was the chief marketing officer at IBM, Bill Maloney. There's the Brooklyn Bridge there. The very first bridge you see. And that's Jersey City, and technically Jersey City is closer to the Statue of Liberty than Manhattan. Oh, wow. This is the museum. This island is a lot bigger than I first thought. We're making a little stop at 
Ellis Island, but we're not getting off because that would just be too long of a day. You can for see Ellis Island with the Statue of Liberty in the background there. All right, we're now gonna go into France's Tavern, which is the oldest bar in America. That's cool. <laughs> Michael's very excited. That's cool. Okay, we're in France's Tavern right now. And I'm not gonna tell the story now because there's a lot of noise in here, but we just had something really horrible happen to us uh, at the Statue of Liberty involving a man picking Mercy and I'll talk about it later. Michael, why don't you tell us about this tavern? This is Francis Tavern, the oldest bar in America. Historic building, original building. A uh, lot of history in here. Um, in fact, I'll look it up on Wikipedia and we'll see all the things that happened in this bar. A lot of, a lot of important American history happened right here. Thank you, talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so we're, I'm sitting here having a shandy in the Francis Tavern, the oldest bar in America. So Francis Tavern played a prominent role in American history before and during the American Revolution, serving as the headquarters for George Washington, a venue for peace negotiations with the British and housing the federal offices of the early Republic of the United States of America. It has been owned since 1904 by the Sons of the Revolution. It is Manhattan's oldest surviving building. We are sitting in Manhattan's oldest really? surviving building. The museum interprets the building and its history. Hey guys, um, today is what day is it? Tuesday? Michael? Yes. Today is Tuesday, um, and we wanted to tell you what happened at the Statue of Liberty yesterday. It was pretty bad. It was pretty horrible. We were standing in line waiting for the ferry, and there were like hundreds of people in line. And Mercy was really fussy, not wanting to be in her stroller anymore, but of course she had to stay in her stroller because it was so crowded. And her feet were like, she was kind of swinging her feet, and so I was trying to keep her away from anyone. But her foot touched this woman, like a young woman, probably like first or second year in college, I would say. I noticed that the and of course I'm, I mouthed to the woman I'm sorry and I noticed that the woman and her little group were like talking about Mercy and kept on looking back at her then the line started to move because they were letting people on the ferry I was still trying to keep space around Mercy's legs well I think that this man who was part of that woman's group like backed into her or maybe we just all tightened up but her leg touched his leg and he moved his leg the first time like as if something had touched his leg and he was just trying to get it away. And then he took his leg and like kicked back hard on Mercy's leg, like purposely kicking her. Then he like smirked about it and was talking to his group. And I told Michael, that man just kicked Mercy. And I was just shocked that he had done that. We were walking and Michael, I said, I said, Michael, I don't think that they're from here because they were t speaking in another language. Michael um, finally uh, said something to him and his friend, the man's friend, and this was a grown man, like probably a grandfather. This, the man's friend was like, Michael said, in your country, do you kick babies? And, um, and the man said, in our country, we control children. What else did he say, Michael? That's all. I mean, I, I knew when he did it that he did it on purpose, like to kind of like teach Mercy not to do it. But anyway, we, we ended up telling the security at the boat, like they brought the police and everything because it was intentional. And, you know, they apologized, but it was very, traumatic. He should be glad that he did not 
uh, break Mercy's skin or cause her to have a bruise because, I mean, there was really nothing that could be done because no one but us saw it. But, um, and I'm sure that they thought that Mercy was older than she is because she looks like she's a four year old. And, you know, as far as being able to control her, she's two. I mean, I can tell her all day long, don't keep your legs into your stroller, but she's not going to do it unless I tie her <laughs> legs to the stroller. What are you doing? Anyway, we are just now about to go meet Michael's parents go, for lunch. Hi. We're at, um, we're leaving. That was it. I'll go 10 days in New York. I don't wear anybody out. We went to Manhattan. I went to Manhattan twice. Um, the beach, Sag Harbor. You can't you know, do any more than we did. Garden City. You can't spend any more money than we spent. It's impossible. Yes, you can. It's been pretty awful getting out of town so far. So hopefully things will be easier on the road. Hello. We're in the South Bronx. Welcome to hell. <laughs> this could be the worst neighborhood in America. It doesn't look that bad. There's a gap. And I think that we just left the worst neighborhood. We left the South Bronx. We're getting ready to go over the George Washington Bridge. And, um, which means the second we get on, get on the bridge, we're out of New York, officially. Goodbye to the South Bronx because it is truly the worst neighborhood. It's hell. We are leaving hell. Uh, Cameron's gonna talk to you now. Oh, I don't know what I have to say. I'm tired. I'm hungry. It's 11:13. I haven't had coffee. I haven't had food. I haven't fed my child food other than breast milk. All right, we made it to Pennsylvania. It's a new state for us on this trip. New, new state. Also, the state where Michael's mother is from. Then we'll drive right past her. Where we'll be able to see where she grew up. In Bethlehem. And where I spent my summers. Michelle, they see what come to. We just stopped for lunch at McDonald's. The best. We're trying to go only fast food on this leg of the trip because already we have an arrival time to our hotel at 8.03. And we haven't even stopped for dinner yet. Which, you know, is probably going to be more like 10.03 because we've got to do diaper changes and Mercy's got to stop to nurse and bathroom breaks and all that. This is where Michael would go see his grandmother. Every summer. Every summer. Lehigh Valley. Lehigh Valley. It's very pretty. Michael was telling us about when he and his sister went to Bethlehem to visit his grandmother. Was it a fair or what was it? It was the Amish fair. Oh, the Amish. There are a lot of Amish in the Quaker town? Quaker town, PA. Well, it was all the Amish and it was, you know, fundraiser. They charge you a nickel to drink out of the hose water. Really? It was a, that was you know, they were they didn't allow soft drinks, so you'd have to drink if you were thirsty. You had to drink water, and they didn't have cups, so you had to drink like from the hose. <laughs> and they had all these neat little novelties. So you go into a tent, you have to pay a nickel, and then they chop the chicken's head off, and you got to watch the chicken run around with its head cut off. You know that saying, run around like a chicken with its head cut off? That's the way I grew up. We'd go every summer and we'd see the, Michelle and I would see the chicken, the chicken uh, run around with its head cut off. And uh, no electricity, they weren't allowed to have electricity. Yeah. They had horses, you get to do uh, horse rides in a circle. <laughs> you know, you go in a circle, get on the horse. Well, I was telling him about my mom used to live in Iowa and she took me to some Amish place and they had all the chickens in like this yard and they peck each other and this a lot of the chickens were bleeding because they had been pecked. Chicken it was pecker. really gross. <laughs> Chicken pecker. That's where you get the pecking order, right? Pecking order. I think an American chicken farms they actually de-beak them like they burn 
the tip of their beaks off, don't they? Good idea. I heard that they do that, or they clip it off. I don't know. Burn them. I think that they do. I think they burn them. <laughs> Isn't that burn. horrible? I'd say burn them. Michael, that's mean. <laughs> Once again, showing what a mean, mean man he is. Burn them. I'd burn them. No, you would not. He's just got a bad bark. I'd burn the beak he, right off their face. He's really a pacifist. He could never do that. He would be too disgusted in it to do it anyway. I, I don't like chicken that much anyway. I like chicken parmesan. I like chicken cacciatore. Chicken piccata. Hi. Um, I've never been on this road. I usually, when I drove on 81 South, I would cut over at Roanoke to go to Winston-Salem. So this stretch is new to me. And the sign that um, just got me was, uh, beware falling rocks. <laughs> so we are actually driving through the mountains on our way to Knoxville and we'll probably head back down this mountain shortly but it's beautiful but you have to keep on your toes here uh, because you never know what might happen you know a bear you know <laughs> a uh, bear <laughs> a bear falling rocks trucks you know out of control they have runoffs true, yeah. you know this truck struggling right here let me show you <laughs> This, You're struggling, make it up now. This truck is struggling right here, a Volvo. This guy's struggling here, he's pulling over. <laughs> so, uh, go down it. here we go, we're going down the mountain now. As you can see, we're like right up there with all these mountaintops. So, um, so uh, that's it for now for me, Cameron. We didn't vlog much yesterday because we were just driving, driving, driving. It was kind of boring actually, but. It got pretty at night, but it was too dark to film anything. Tennessee welcomes you. We made it to Knoxville, and Michael has a business meeting tonight, but we are all gonna go to get pizza. Which class is Aston Blonde? Vote A for A, brown. <laughs> Vote B for clear, clear. A or B? With this outfit, I think B. B? For the oh, I was thinking A. Oh. You're conflicted. What do you think? Put them in front I of like Mercy. the brown ones. Put them in front of Mercy and see what she picks. Well, she's the one who broke the clear <laughs> ones. <laughs> they both look good, actually. I'm gonna go. All right, we're at toma the tomato head. We got pizza, salads, and a hummus. Help. What is this called, Mark Michael? Market Square. This is Market Square in Knoxville. <laughs> All great restaurants. This place. The restaurants. Is awesome. Get a shot of the menu here. What is it? Amelia. Italian. Fabulous. Hey guys, it's our last day on the road. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are waiting for Michael to get out of his meeting, so we are gonna go. There's a cute little movie theater next door and they're playing Toy Story 4. So we're gonna take Mercy to her first real movie. She's only been to an IMAX before, so I'm hoping that she'll like it. I'm sure there's probably gonna be no one else in the movie theater. Um, I mean, maybe a couple of people, but um, yeah. So we're gonna go do that and then hopefully hit the road. Okay, we just got out of the movie, and what did you think of Toy Story 4, Mary? I liked it. The animation has gotten a lot better in Disney, like since the first one. I don't know, it's just like, it capped my childhood, my childhood memories. It was a really cute story. Oh, I see our car being pulled up. The valet just brought our car, and we're finally going home. I just got these huge sunglasses at these stores around here. I love them. Michael? Yes. How do you feel? Numb. <laughs> Numb. We're home. We've been home for about an hour, I guess. So far I've done two loads of laundry, or one's in the dryer, one's washing. 
We're unpacked. We're tired. It's a rough one. <laughs> it was rough. I don't think we'll be doing that in, again. <laughs> so thanks for watching. <laughs> I lost my mustache. Oh yeah, Michael shaved off his mustache. <laughs> Bye.